Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and we're coming to you with some early Wednesday morning Korean baseball, free pick in Korean baseball coming up in just a moment. Wanted to get this out there uh, early. It's about, oh gosh, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific uh, on Tuesday night. The game starts uh, at around 5.30 a.m. Eastern, 2.30 a.m. Pacific. So wanted to get this out there in time for you uh, to be able to jump on board if you wish uh, to join me. It's our only Korean baseball play today. It's a free pick, and um, we wanted to jump in because we've been really studying handicapping these teams, the league itself, the fact that they went to a dead ball a couple of years ago with the league siding, the league brass siding, too many home runs, all that stuff. But we'll get to the free pick in just a moment. A couple of quick notes. We're still playing Taiwan baseball every day, CPBL as it's known. Uh, we are on fire in soccer, nine and two over the last couple of weeks, up over $3,500 for $100 per unit players. And we just cashed that big seven star play last week, a plus 230 draw in uh, leg one of the Nicaraguan finals. Leg two goes this weekend. So we're gonna have more soccer available. Uh, the, le uh, the, the soccer leagues we're involved in are Nicaragua, which is just about to end. And of course, Belarus, which is still going strong. And uh, the next soccer games will be played on Friday. So we'll have more on that over the next couple of days. Uh, but Red Hot, don't miss out on our soccer, our Taiwan baseball. Uh, we picked up over 11 units in Taiwan baseball over the last week. So uh, here's the deal. Those plays, Taiwan baseball and Korean premium picks, uh, will be available in our other sports section. It's called Other Sports is the title. It'll be available at DocSports.com on my Handicappers homepage daily at 3.30 p.m. Eastern, 12.30 p.m. Pacific for the next day's games because those games start so darn early. As we just mentioned, the game we're about to give you starts early. So this is our first foray into Korean baseball, and I thought we'd bring it to you for free. Also, real quick, don't forget about our NFL thumbnail, thumbnail excuse me, previews for the upcoming 2020 campaign. Uh, We've done the entire NFC. We've got one more game to go, one more team to go, I should say, in the AFC West before we move on to another division. That will be the Las Vegas Raiders, and that will be up by Tuesday night, Wednesday morning at the very latest. So uh, again, you can get that free $60 account. You can use it now. You can wait till North American sports come back with a bang. Uh, but anyway, uh, all you got to do to get started on that $60 free account, if you're not yet a member at DocSports.com, just click on the link below the video. I don't know about you, but I really enjoyed uh, Eric Day last night, his uh, uh, little spiel and the, the 15, 20 minutes he was on the broadcast last night before the Korean baseball game um, got started on ESPN. What a great guy and a hell of a player who did a great job uh, in his three seasons over in Korea, then came back that and parlayed that into some nice money deals and contracts with the Brewers, now the Nationals, uh, for this upcoming season if they get things underway in 2020. Uh, but a, a better brand of baseball than we see in Taiwan, uh, even though I like playing Taiwan baseball, baseball because we've been winning. It is a better brand of baseball and pitchers do matter more in this league. I know they'll go to the pin sometimes a little bit in Korea, but I mentioned they deadened the ball a couple of years ago uh, after the league brass sided too many home runs were being hit and American starting pitchers generally speaking by like what they were showing on ESPN on opening night have an ERA about one run lower than Korean pitchers and just check out what happened between the two pitches that I'm about to give you. I'm playing the under, which is eight and a half. Um, the under, let me double check that here as I'm talking to you. The under between Karoom and Kia, which is eight and a half. It's come down a little bit. There were some books out there that had it a little bit higher than eight and a half uh, under uh, 15. You could probably, there's some eights out there, but plenty of eight and a halves to find if you're going to play the under with me in this one. But it's the Karoom Heroes against the Kia Tigers. Pitching matchup. We got a couple of American starters out there. You've got uh, Eric Yokish, uh, who's going to be going for Kiwoom. And Eric Yokish, by the way, is a lefty, and he was drafted 10 years ago by the Cubs organization. He spent a real brief time, cup of coffee in the major leagues, and really never got above AAA after that. Uh, but he jumped into the KBO, the Korean Baseball Organization, last season, and he dominated. He was one of the best pitchers. He's a southpaw. He was fifth in strikeouts last year in his first season in Korea. Uh, he allowed more than three runs only six times in 30 starts. His ERA 3.13, his whip 1.13. He threw over 180 innings of work and uh, only walked 39 batters, 13-9 record. So we like the fact that we got the lefty um, 
going for Kiwoom in this one. And then his counterpart is going to be Aaron Brooks. Now, you may remember Aaron Brooks a little bit. He threw over 100 Major League Baseball innings. And I know the last time I saw him, uh, he was pitching against the Mariners uh, August. It was late last season. And uh, he threw a, a one-hit baseball over a seven-inning start. So, uh, listen, I think he's going to do well in this league also. I mean, Jokic never got above triple a for the most part yet once he came to korea and played last year he was one of the dominant throwers so i think we'll see uh, good things out of aaron brooks also again the total is eight and a half we are going to play under uh, again eight and a half between the kaboom heroes and the kia tigers and again don't forget we're going to have uh, free videos up every day but they could come late afternoon early evening for the next day's games and they're early morning games uh, this one goes at 5 30 a.m eastern on wednesday 2 30 a.m pacific some of them go as early as as 1 a.m. Eastern on uh, the next day's game. So we'll be talking about these and posting them. I'm going to say bye at least 9 or 10 p.m. Eastern time the day before the games. And of course, you'll be able to get those by 3.30 p.m. Eastern the day before the games with my premium Korean and Taiwan picks at DocSports.com. Let's play the under between the Heroes and the Tigers on Wednesday morning in the KBO. I'm Scott Sprites at DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. Let's win on a Wednesday. We'll be back Wednesday afternoon or early evening with another free pick from Thursday's card.